If you've never heard of the West African country called Mauritania, then buckle up as I take you on a crazy cultural journey through the capital city. I am attempting to purchase a camel, the most valuable animal for its source of food and transportation, and I want to give it as a surprise gift to a small village. Why? Because as travelers, it's important to give back to local communities, but this idea wasn't as easy to accomplish as you think. Here goes nothing. I'm recently coming off an epic 19 hour train ride across the Sahara. It was the experience of a lifetime. After three showers and a good night's rest, I was off to explore the capital city of Nouakchott. It's my second time here and it's really hard to explain in words what it's like to walk these streets. This city is unlike any other in the world. We are literally in the middle of the Sahara, the world's largest and hottest desert, so everywhere you go is dusty. The people here dress conservatively, partially because of religion, but also to protect themselves from the severe heat and dust. If I'm being honest, Mauritania is in the top 10 most difficult countries to shoot videos in in the world. Although the people are quite friendly, they are standoffish when it comes to cameras and they really hate seeing them. That means I'm gonna need extra help to make this story. Thanks to an Instagram post, I got in touch with a local friend last minute named Med who is also a camera guy. I pitched him the crazy idea of wanting to buy a camel and gifting it to a small village and he was thrilled to join for the adventure. Here goes nothing. Waiting for a friend here in Nouakchott. Apparently he's a local videographer guy. Yo, what's hey. up man? How's it going? Nice dude? to meet you. Everything good? Yeah dude, how are you? Yeah. Thank yeah. you for willing to Welcome. be with me because it's tough to shoot here, bro. Yeah. Why are you shooting us? Why are you taking yeah, our man. picture? Hopefully we can get a camel. And it will be like very good to give it to those poor people because they need it. Do you understand negotiate? Yeah. Like talking the price and very yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. African, man. You're out. <laughs> Two reasons I do this video. One, to show the culture, show the camel market, show the life in Nouakchott. Mm -hmm. But two, to give back to people. We've driven about a half hour outside the city and we're rolling up to the camel market. Putting a headscarf on because it's very traditional here. I bought one earlier. And it's also so dusty, you gotta cover the face. And now they don't know I'm a, I'm a tourist. <laughs> awesome, man, I'm ready to go. At first, I didn't think there were so many camels when we first drove up. And then we, we walked to another part and there's maybe 5,000 camels in front of me. It's so weird because they're just walking through here. There's not that many people and all the camels are just staring at you. Just wanna pop in real quick and say thanks to Sony for sponsoring this video. I recently joined the Sony Alpha team and it's taken my video making skills to the next level. Sony has just launched their latest and greatest vlogging camera called the ZV-E10, which takes incredible photos and videos. It's compact, lightweight, and perfect for traveling. My favorite features are an interchangeable lens, a much larger sensor, a side flip out screen, and cleaner audio. My friends at Sony are so kind to offer this camera and vlogging Kit as a giveaway for free to one lucky subscriber. To win, simply follow me on Instagram at Drubinsky and comment on my most recent post and tell us what is your name, why you want to win the camera, and what you are going to do with your prize. Bonus points if you comment below on this video because your name will be more recognizable. We are choosing winners in exactly 48 hours and we are shipping the camera worldwide. Best of luck and with that all being said, let's head back to Martinia. And just the amount of dust in my eyes right now is insane. It's so dusty, bro. Have you been here before? Yeah, a couple of times. It's a place to go when you want to buy camels. And there is many reasons you decide to buy a camel for if one of your like cousins getting married or something. I would like to see if we can purchase one and maybe give it to somebody who, who needs it because I think it would be a nice thing to do. This is like uh, the famous and big gift you can give in waiting. We need to find somebody who we can negotiate with how much do you think it costs to buy a camel it's like around a thousand dollars thousand dollars oh my god I wasn't looking yeah. at spending that much what about a not so big good one 800 600 okay. something around okay maybe five or six hundred could be mm -hmm. in the budget let's see what we can find all of these homes behind me are, are where the uh, camel guys are living. So they're 24 seven surrounded by camels. It's a crazy life. This place is just insane. What is going on here? When someone just to bring uh, some new camels, like they get like that. Are all of these people working here? All of them working. So we are the first customers. We are the first people that are coming to buy. So this is like a big business camel. Tour. Yeah, of course, of course. 
Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. You can check this. You can check this. How much for this one? It's around 400 something dollars. But it's pretty small. Let's ask him for a little bigger one. Okay, one bigger than this. This guy? He's a little bit bigger or it's the same? Yeah, it's a little bit bigger. Yes, man. It's like around 500. $500? Mm -hmm. How old is this camel? I'm a camel. Two years. Two years old. Yeah. Ask him what's the most expensive one. Got like a uh, How much is that one? A thousand a hundred dollars. Uh, Eleven hundred bucks is a little expensive, so I think I'll pass on that one. We're uh, trying another negotiation just to see if we can find cheaper prices. See, there is some customers. Customers, this guy is about to buy a kit with the suit on. Yeah, he has nice clothes. So. Uh, Martenia is really hard to shoot. Sometimes the people really don't want to be on camera. So then you got to respect them and move on. Maybe that guy. I don't like him. Let's ask him. Hey, camera. Hey, camera. Yeah, he was asking what is this. Salam alaikum. Oh, he doesn't like the camera. It's okay. We've tried uh, three or four different guys now and they. They don't like cameras, so I'm not gonna film them, obviously. You know, it's like all the <laughs> cameras around you. It's like crazy feeling. It's a dude. crazy feeling, dude. It's like walking through a maze of camels. <laughs> How much for that one? $500. We gotta negotiate half there. This is harder than I thought. He said like 480 A $20 yeah. negotiation? That's a... Uh, not so good. We're approaching the men at their homes now. Assalamu alaikum. He said like we give him six hundred dollars and we just sit here and he going to walk around and find us a nice one. He, he's an old man and he's doing something good for us. I want you to tell him that he is the nicest person we've met because sometimes they're not very friendly or it's difficult. Mm -hmm. So tell him thank you for being so friendly. Uh, he said, welcome to us and we can sit here and uh, the woman here, she's going to make us tea. Amazing. And we just sit in here and he's going to look around to find us a nice one and uh, we can take it. I think my budget is around $500. Mm -hmm. So see if you can do the same deal for $500 instead of $600. Uh, yeah, he's going to look around and uh, if he finds uh, something we like, we can't okay. took it. We, we don't like it. It's okay. okay. I there want to go no with problem. him because I want to see like the camera. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah we, you can. Yalla Habibi. Wow, that ended up being really nice. What's his name? Dada. Dada. Shukran. The lesson learned if you're patient, if you can wait, you can find a good guy. Yeah, exactly. Dada. <laughs> Everybody knows him. Yeah. So he can speak to them and then we don't have to feel, you know, weird about negotiating. <laughs> Dude, I can't even breathe over here. Dada, salam. He asked him if this is good for us. I think we need a bigger one. Ask him what he thinks about this one, the white one. So no rayak this very bigger one and it's uh I really like this white one, but I think 500 is my budget. In the heat of negotiation here. He's getting mad at now. Yeah, yeah, you see. Crazy, man. He said he can't, he can't sell it with that. He cannot price. make it lower. We go to the next one. Yeah, next one. He's taking his time to choose a good one. What about this one? You can see that everybody respects Dada. Oh my because, God. Yeah, see? Yeah, we are like... We're, we're with the right person. <laughs> How much is this one? This is 500. But doesn't that one look small? It's I think we can get a better one. That's a small one. Or we can get this, but with cheaper price. What's the best price he can offer for this one? Would be like 450 something. I think we can do 450 for this one. 450? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's sitting nicely for us. Okay, that's good. He said yes? Uh-huh. Shukran Habibi. <laughs> now they're now, now we're best friends. Tell them I've come a very long way. I'm obviously not from here, so it's a very nice experience to have with them. Whoa. We can pay him in his house and we can have tea before we leave. Yeah, we did it, man. Yeah. So we successfully purchased the camel. Now we're going back to Dada's house to kind of have some tea. He invited us for tea, so we're going to have some tea and we'll pay him inside. Maybe talk to him a little bit about life in the camel market. So. 
Yeah. Very nice, man. It's, it's a really cool experience. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, the first time people, they were saying, oh, they are just that filming, so they don't want to buy anything. It's a different story now when we buy. Yeah, I explained to them, like, we are here to do something good. <laughs> Literally 15 guys now trying to sell us a camel. Wow. Ask him how many years he's been working in the camel market. I saw one of you from 2003. Really? 18 years old. 18 years. That's amazing, man. Tell me how important are camels for the people of Mauritania? It's very important for the people like in the villages they are living like from the camels they uh, uh, drink milk, they eat meat and they sell it when they want to buy something or they want to do something. I want to tell him that we just bought this camel to give to someone as a gift so I want his recommendation who we can give it to. In Wachu there is a lot for people. It's not far away from Okay, then maybe we can go there. 10 minutes from here. Perfect, perfect. We stay with him till we drink tea and we eat some barbecue <laughs> and we can take the camera and go with him. Thank you. We are getting like a oh, one, one. good time with tea and barbecue. <laughs> That's the best things you can get in Mauritania. Dad, dad was so nice that he invited us in his house, invited us for some shy and a barbecue of goat. This is just showing off the hospitalities. If we said no, he would be mad. You have to say yes as part of the culture and uh, I'm excited man, it's gonna be great. I love Mauritanian chai man. Oh, yeah. They always serve it in these small little cups. Really so Mauritanian today with like you had already the face mask and you had tea going to barbecue. You are in like a camel market. This is like the most Mauritanian experience. Look, my chai man Okay, we got our hands clean, and now it's time to feast. That's perfect. Oh my god, it's very good. Uh -huh. That is fresh meat. Ask him if he prefers to eat goat or camel. For him, he prefers like uh, camels. Most people in the world, Unfortunately, don't know anything about Mauritania. What do you want to say about your country to those people? <laughs> Mauritania, it's a beautiful place for visiting and the people they are very generous. We would like to have them here visiting Mauritania and going around seeing the beautiful places in Mauritania. What an experience this is. We weren't expecting to sit on the floor and <clears throat> meet such a friendly guy and have him give us food. That was unexpected, but this has been really cool so far. I really, yeah. really love it. And we still have to deliver the camel. Now I'm going to pay him. One, two, three, four, one hundred. One, two, three, four, four hundred. Twenty, forty, fifty. Dada, shukran. So I'm not going to show the process of what it's like to put the camel in our car, but it's definitely a process. And uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Shukran. Habibi. I never done an experience like this. That was a wild experience in that camel market. And now we have uh, a camel in our trunk. We have to find a place to give the camel. Someone's going to be very happy. Just imagine now they are sitting in their houses. They don't feel anything like happen. They don't know yeah. there is someone taking a camel and bring it to them now. <laughs> it's going to make someone's day. It's going to make a whole community's day. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere right now. This is bizarre, guys. These people are literally living like in the desert. And as soon as you get off the main road here, it is just sand. Like the houses are built on the sand. So we just parked our car over there away from everyone. And we're going to try to gather some people without telling them what's going to happen. I still have a big piece of goat in my teeth that I can't get out from that meal. We already had two women following us to understand what we are doing. When people see us here, they're like, what's going on? But we're just trying to let them know that a surprise is coming. Salam alaikum. So the strategy is to find the mosque and meet with the imam or the leader there. Bro, that's my university, Wisconsin. The last thing I was expecting to see in a million years. Got a crew now, got all the kids following us. 
Do you think they have any idea what's happening? No, everyone asking. What do you what do you want from us? What do you need? The whole community is here. This is wild. I am going just to explain. Yeah. We have a gift, but I am not going to say what is the okay. gift. Okay. They really need a lot of gift and they appreciate it because they are living in very poor area sure. and now everything is getting so expensive. And of course, uh, the, the community, they will appreciate this Great. Uh, gift. Salam Alaikum. My name is Drew. I come from the USA and I'm traveling around the world. I wanted to uh, give you guys a gift. I got you a camel. It's in the car right here. Shukran. Wow. What you say? They are saying we need to come back to them and they are so happy with what we already give to them. It's amazing how much happiness is around us. Huh? Thank you for that. Uh, you are like, my pleasure. Ah, shukran, shukran. Voila, merci beaucoup. Wow, that was uh, amazing, man. They're all saying thank you. How do you feel? Yeah, I, I really feel so happy. I really love this moment. I love it too, man. Yeah, they are happy with it. Whoa, that was overwhelming emotions. Woo! Shukran. What a moment that was. Thank you so much. That's yeah. cool. That's really cool. I can't believe it. Like, that's a, mad, a lot of happiness Holy really crap, around. That was, oh my God. that was very touching. Um, uh, yeah. I'm really happy we did this, man. Thank you. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Welcome. This experience of giving a camel to the village literally brought tears to my eyes. It was so hard to leave the beautiful people here. I could have easily stayed all night drinking tea and getting to know them, but I had to get back to the city. As a traveler and someone who is fortunate enough to visit all these amazing places, it's very important to give back to local communities, and that was the motive behind making this story. Thank you for uh, watching this video, I really appreciate it. Uh, many more to come from Mauritania. This is a really cool country and um, and this was a special one to make so take it easy guys. Peace Hi, yeah picture You speak English? Uh, yes. Really? What's your name? Uh, Mama. Mama, nice to meet you yes. You are from here? From this area? Uh, I am from uh, Nwadi Nwadibu. Same oh, with him. I am from Nwadibu too. Where are you from in Nwadibu? Uh, Raba. Uh, Raba. Yes. I am from Sata. <laughs> the people here, how do they feel about uh, having a camel? He's very really good. Is, are they very happy? Yes. I can yeah, you think they are happy? Yes. With this gift? Yes, God, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Nice to meet you. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and ring that little bell so you can get notified on all my upcoming videos as I take you to every single country in the world.